Hello, chosen ones. I pray everyone is having a blessed and awesome day, a fantastic day filled with so much love and joy and peace. I want to talk to you all today about a word that God put down in my spirit. And he said, only the strong will survive. So I want to share that with you all. And I want to talk to you all about that word. Only the strong will survive. If you are new to the channel, welcome to The Chosen Ones. My name is Latoya T. Wolford. I am an author, a life coach, and a motivational speaker. And I have a podcast that you are welcome to listen to whenever you feel the need. But what I want to say about this word is that only the strong will survive. Meaning that whatever you may go through and no matter how difficult, it may get or it may seem you cannot give up you have to stay in it stay in the fight stay in whatever you're going through no matter how weary you may feel don't worry about it only the strong will survive meaning that you got to fight you got to keep going you cannot give up you cannot give up you keep going and you keep focusing on what you need to do because remember the devil is going to try to throw obstacles in the way to st slow you down on whatever you are doing in life, your job, your business, whatever. It does not matter. Even with your children, it don't matter. Do not give up. Only the strong will survive. Whatever God is telling you to do, you need to stay focused and do it. You cannot stop doing what God is telling you to do what God has put on your heart to do because that is what the enemy want you to do because if you do that, how is God work going to get done? It's going to get done, but he had a specific plan that he wants you to do. We all have things that we are created to do in this world. I want to talk about a scripture in Joel 3 verses 10 and I use this scripture still to this day whenever I feel like I am feeling like you know, weak or whatever, or, you know, strange. <laughs> and I use this scripture, and it is in Joel 3, verses 10, and it says, When I am weak, say that you are strong. When you are weak, say, I am strong. That is all. I am strong. Just say that. I am strong in Jesus' name. I am strong. I use this scripture. Whenever I haven't had to use it in a while, but I use it. And I'm telling y'all, I used to use it all the time. I am strong. I am strong. It don't matter if you feel like you are being attacked or something. Say it. I am strong. When you feel weak, say you are strong because God wants us to survive. And he said, only the strong will survive. So you all remember that. Only the strong will survive. I want to do communion with you all today. And this scripture can be found in 2 Corinthians 11, verses 24 through 25, 26. And we know that when we do communion, this is symbolizes Jesus' body for us that was broken for us. Remember that he was beat for us, for our sins. He never sinned. He got beat for our sins. So he said, anytime we take this bread, Get whatever you have that symbolizes Jesus' body to you. But when we take this bread, we are to do it in remembrance of him. Remember what Jesus did for us. So you take your bread. If you have to pause the video, go pause it and get what you need. And when you take it, and just thank Jesus. Just think about everything he done for us. And then he had the cup of wine gave to the 12 disciples and he told them this is his blood do this as often as you drink it do it in remembrance of him remember jesus so we're going to take it and we're going to drink all of it thank you jesus for your blood thank you jesus if it weren't for jesus we would not be here y'all always remember that I always remember that when you take it, make sure you are honoring Jesus and nothing else. You are thinking about what he did and nothing else. 
And I just pray you all have a fantastic day. Continue your day in peace, love, and joy. And I will see you all in the next video. Blessings to you all.